looking at the Regents exams over the past year, these are top five pieces of information you must know for the Regents chemistry exam that have to do with matter. So let's get to it. Every compound and element has a unique set of properties that only go for that particular substance. And I use the word substance because substance is an element or a compound. Of course, compounds are elements that are chemically combined and that's why in number two only compounds can be broken down by chemical means, meaning breaking the bonds. Of course, I can have compounds and or elements that are just mixed together. Mixtures, remember, are physical combination of substances that can be separated back out. So when I have a mixture, I have a physical combination of two or more substances and they retain their own properties. Mixtures can be separated and some of those separation techniques are here in number four. These are by physical properties. Chromatography, bimolecular polarity or solubility, distillation by boiling points, filtration by particle size. So a classic example here that shows up a lot is you have a mixture of salt, water, and sand. When you filter salt, water, and sand, the salt and water will pass through the filter because the salt dissolves in the water. You trap the sand particles. In order to separate the salt from the water, you would evaporate the water and leave the salt behind, or you could distill, um, distill it and boil the water off and leave the salt behind. Remember, any chemical formula with an AQ means it's a mixture. So NaClAQ means I have not just a mixture, by the way, a homogeneous mixture of a salt, NaCl, dissolved in water, AQ. This is just to get you started. Take a look at other information, practice your questions, and good luck.